Following up on a beautiful fall afternoon in Providence, Rhode Island. It's a beautiful evening in town as well and a great night for some college basketball as the Brown Bears host the Anchorman of Rhode Island College. Here's Nana Owusu-Anani, gets it left side to Aaron Cooley. Cooley's going to take the three from the left wing. Good. Swish. A four point Rhode Island College lead, 12-8. Here's Nana for three. Left side, it's good. Owusu Anani starting to feel it from beyond the arc. He's made two tonight. Here's Cloris with the basketball. Up top to Nador. Nador dribbles right, hands it to Ferrari. Ferrari gets it back to Kaluanya. Now to Ferrari on the left. Three for Kimo is good. Been waiting for him to get untracked. DeClore has thought about the three, dribbles it in traffic, kicks it out to Ferrari. Now the door left open. He'll take this three straight away, and Malachi knocks it down. Kimo was open, could have taken that. Here's Kaluanya. Sees an opening, takes it down the left side of the lane, and scores. Here's Ferrari for three. Good. Good to see that young man heat up from beyond the arc. Ferrari. Kimo takes it baseline. Whips into the corner to Cooley. He'll spot up for three. Good. Aaron Cooley with his second three of the half. He has nine points. Here's a three for Aaron Cooley. He's got another. His third of the night. Junior from Orange, New Jersey. Here's Cooley. Wants another one. And he's got another one. Lewis, a little turnaround jumper for the baseline is good. Seven for Landon Lewis. The rebound, Dabo gets it out to Cloris. Sam quicks it up the floor. Down low to Nador on the right baseline. Cross court to Lespert, AJ's three, good. The Cloris. Back up top, it goes to Anya. Down low to Dabo, who there sealed the defender and dunks it. Great ball movement. Brown tonight. As that shot missed. Chidiuno with a rebound. Quickly pushes it up, goes length to the floor and lays it in. And you saw the quickness right there of a Chidiuno again. Rehab that, got it ready to go. And then tore his ACL before his collegiate career started as Luke Paragon hits his first collegiate bucket at three from the corner. Up with a steal. He's going to bring it back the other day. With numbers, has Kania to his what right, gets it to Drew, who lays it up and in. And the first collegiate bucket for Drew Kania. Behind the back pass. Malcolm Jefferson down low and Simeon Estatio with his first career bucket. So on three consecutive possessions, the Bears have first year student athletes score their first career baskets. Under three minutes to go in this one. Cloris going to take the running floater and bank it home from straight away. That was a move. Bears on the run again. Cloris. Gets it in the corner to Paragon. Three on the way. Good. Second three from the same spot on the floor for Luke Paragon. Former sports writer for the Fall River Herald who works the clock at many of Brown's home games. Oh. What a dunk oh, by Chidiuno. What do you got? A dunky clinic. The Tim, freshman. Tim, 22 minutes. Pace the Bears. Nobody else had uh, more than 20. But the best part of this was, I think, after that timeout that Mike Martin called in the first half with 15:49 left or whatever, they responded with a lot of energy and intensity for the rest of the game. I would That's agree with key. you. I would agree with you. Mike didn't like the way they started the game. He yeah. called that quick timeout, and his team responded from that point.